All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is pretty exciting. We're heading down back to the auto auction, and we're actually going to look at boats. And, uh, you know, boats are great, and it's really hard to buy some during the summer because they're really expensive. But right now, there's a lot of flooded ones with damage, and who knows, we can get a good deal. So there's a lot of big ones, little ones, and a lot of these boats have no trailers, so we definitely need to inspect them and look at them because the last boat we bought, it was too big. You know, it was kind of dangerous to move. We still have that big trailer, so if anything, we had to go and we have a trailer to move some of these big boats, but we gotta check them out because salt water damage is not fun to mess with. Pretty much you gotta replace it. So there's no point of buying an a boat with a bad engine, then you just buy a, a boat without an engine with a hole, and they're not worth anything. So let's go ahead and go down there. We gotta check out some big boats, some little boats, and see what kind of deals we can get. All right, guys, so here's the first boat we're gonna be looking at. It's a 2013 with a 115 horsepower mercury four stroker pontoon boat so let's look around looks like it's been sitting in the water got some she shells on the bottom but uh yeah this one's coming up for auction it's gonna be playing the water line looks really low like right there which technically should not be a problem for a boat whatsoever before going the inside let's check out the outside we got the engine right here let's see if it's got power Wow. So it's got power. So I don't know if it's gonna start it like that. It wasn't posted as a run and drive. Let's take off the cover really quick. This engine is looking really clean. I don't see any corrosion. That's probably normal, but the engine is really clean. Let's check the oil. Oil is good. So that's not bad at all. Let's put the cover back on and uh, check out the inside. So the interior doesn't look that bad. The canopy is definitely broken. Not that big of a deal, but the seats are looking good. Pretty good shape. The captain chair looks good. The radio. Yeah, I'd say not bad. Not bad little interior. Let's see if this thing's got keys. And it doesn't have keys. But after looking at engine, I think the engine's pretty good. It's got power. But no keys. No compartment. Who knows? Maybe the keys are inside. Probably not. So usually they're on a flotation device. Yeah, fire, fire hydrant, that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty liking this boat. It doesn't have a trailer, so we had to figure out the trailer. It's got some damage on these. Looks like when the awning got hit, but or maybe like a crazy windstorm. But getting new keys for this thing shouldn't be that hard of a problem. But yeah, I'm kind of liking the boat. All right, so here's the other side. It's definitely been sitting, as you guys can see, like the salt water or corrosion line. So, it's, as you guys can see, the corrosion line right there, it's been definitely docked on the water, but not too bad. The tube doesn't look that bad either. Depending on the price, what it goes for, it could be a still good deal because you can get the new awning, not a big deal. All this can be freshened up. Looks like the registration is good, so they were definitely using it. And it's a saltwater addition, so maybe it's made for the salt. But the engine, kind of bad with the salt. You have to do a lot of flushes and cleaning. But 115 horsepower motor, that's pretty strong. But let's go check out a couple more and uh, we'll see how much they go for. All right, all right, so here we have our next boat. It's a Yamaha. It's got two jet engines. It's pretty cool. It's got some audio in the back. Let's go around, check out the outside. It looks super faded though. That's kind of maybe a good buff job. All right, let's go inside and check this thing out. The outside definitely a little rough. Inside a little rough. Seats kind of in bad shape. Got some lighting. Got no keys. That's not a good sign. The front end also super wet, needs a good cleaning. Inside, not too bad. The 
full of life jackets, which is good. Doesn't look too wet in there. Let's go ahead and open the engine. Well, I think it's back there. There we go. Ooh. A little wet. Twin. See the oil? Oil looks good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's that bad. Water's looking pretty good. Still don't see a water line, but I gotta say the boat's kind of rough shape though. All right, so the engines don't look that bad. Looks like somebody may try to take it apart a little bit, but with no keys, no thing, having it kind of in rough shape. And these engines are, from what I hear, not the best, but kind of rough interior, exterior is kind of rough. I guess it depends on the price, but I wouldn't say it's crazy flooded. It's just been used. It comes with a free bucket. Let's check this out. I don't know. I think we're going to have to pass. Not a bad little boat, but there's definitely more on the list. All right, so here is our next little boat. It looked pretty good on the pictures. It's got a 200 horsepower four stroke. Looks a little rough, but great little fishing boat. Water lines right here, which is like normal. I mean, I wouldn't say no issues, but in the pictures look like it was laying sideways because half of it is kind of covered. See how this side already has all that moss. It looks like it was laying. You see by the back seat, it was laying. Got a lot of, all this can be washed, but it's been definitely laying. Cool little boat, definitely great for fishing. Oh, let's check out the, a little damage there there's electronics i guess we'll go inside and check it out but it'd be a sweet little boat it's, it's definitely big the pictures don't look that big but this is what 24 feet i don't know let's go inside and check it out so we got the keys to it i highly doubt it's gonna start it's got jbl audio it's got a nice little sonar what we really want to check out is this fuses. It's got a flare gun. But oh, look at all that corrosion. Oh man, it's corroded enough where the battery came off. So that's a, definitely a bad sign. So you've had to replace probably everything in here, which is not what we're looking for. But hey, flare gun, you gotta be safe. A lot of corrosion right there. Just a lot of corrosion. That's why you gotta check them out. Like you can see that positive where you turn on the battery switch. That's all corroded. All the switches, fuses, all corroded. Yeah, unfortunately, not something I'm looking for. Cool little boat, but too big of a project for me. But there's definitely more. Let's keep going. And here is the next boat. It's actually right next to the one we just checked out, which is right there. So that's kind of convenient, but this would be a, like a definitely a good ocean boat. It should be really safe and sturdy in the water. You can see it's been sitting in the water, so it's not big, not that big of a deal. Registration is still good. All this damage from from the dock bouncing around, but it's got two twin, fifth or 115 horsepower. So what it makes almost 200 horsepower. It's pretty cool. Let's see if it's got some power. So no power or maybe the breaker is off but the engines are definitely pretty cool definitely a big boat in the pictures i thought it'd be a little bit smaller but this is what 20 maybe 25 30 footer maybe i'm off but let's go inside and check out the interior so super clean the seats are looking good everything's looking nice it's got keys for both engines probably dead batteries yep it's got radar, it's got range, it's got some kind of solar power right there. More cushions, definitely clean. Like super clean, that battery is good, the connections looks good. So I don't think any water got inside. So this would be a good one to play and watch it for. Speakers look good. Compared to that one, that one definitely was in the water underneath. This one, look at that, super clean. Wow. 
So not a bad little boat. Definitely have to see how much it goes for. I think just in engines, these engines are like three to four thousand dollars each, maybe more. But this would be this would be a pretty cool project to get this thing going. Cause I love boats. Fishing not so much, but I can like it. But it's got like the Todd holders. It's got a lot of cool stuff. Let's check underneath it. All right, besides all of this algae growing or whatever, it looks pretty good. There you pull the plugs out of it, so it drains all the water, which is smart. That looks pretty good. Engines look really clean. Probably pop one off. That looks super clean. I'm gonna say this would be a pretty good buy. It's got a little side damage, nothing too big. So this boat, put on a list, but one thing would be kind of bad is getting a trailer for it and getting it loaded on the trailer. I mean, we could probably put it on the wedge trailer for now and then try to find a trailer for it or just leave it on the dock somewhere. But pretty cool boat. On to the next one. All right, so here's another little pontoon. It's got a Yamaha 70, you know, not a bad little motor. So let's see, it's got power to it. Oh, definitely has no power, but definitely has corrosion. But the engine looks pretty clean. It's a Sullivan, which is pretty good. Interiors in really good shape. Leather's not bad at all. The seats are looking pretty good. It's got a little bit of body damage, but which boat doesn't, you know? It's got little lights in the front, follow the yellow and, I mean, the red and the blue. Other than that, the seats look really nice, interior, pretty good looking. Definitely keep it on the list as a nice little pontoon. There we have another fishing boat, a little center console, definitely a long one. Definitely for shallow water because it's definitely not that deep. And it's been in the salt, so as you can see a lot of rust right there. But interior, besides the roof being damaged, no, it looks like maybe laid on its side because that's all mudded. It's got all this mud up there. That's not a good sign. There is rust coming from the hinges. Uh, that's not a good sign. Here's the gas. Yeah, it's got corrosion. But, yeah, 300 horsepower engine, pretty nice, but I think a little too much work. Definitely got flooded or upside down or sideways in the water. So let's keep going on to the next one. So here's a nice little boat, little fisherman, old school. Got the old school wheel, speedometer, but what do you need? Seats, it's got a 75 horsepower, probably two stroke. Nice little boat, definitely two strokes. Got the thing right there. Got some kind of claws. A lot of little bit of equipment. Definitely looks like it's been a used boat, but not bad. Depending on how much it goes for. Engine's definitely worth money. And the hull is in pretty good shape. Alright, so here we have a mini yacht. This thing is crazy looking. It's huge, but got glass broken. It's a cruiser yacht. I mean, this thing probably uh, bounced around the ocean. Who knows? It's got a big engine right here. I think it has two engines. So it's got three engines right here. Look at that. 
Look at that, dude. This is crazy huge. Wow. Wow, it just gets worse on this side. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think this is going to be a little too much of a project for us. Maybe one day. Well, let's keep going. Alright, so here's a boat. That would be a base in the water. Definitely none of our local lakes will take this. It'll be an ocean only. Maybe Lake Hartwell. But racing 400R engines, Mercury's, probably super fast. Pretty sick. I don't want to quite climb in there. It might be a little scary, but look at that. Two screens inside, GPS. Probably a good 40 footer. Pretty sick boat. That's huge. All right guys, so we went down there, we checked out a lot of boats. Some of them were pretty cool, some of them were in really bad shape. And I guess the salt water really got to them and all the little damages and whatnot. But I had a great time checking out these boats. Leave us a comment down below on what boat we should get because I definitely love boats. I love to you know, work on them, love to be in the water and things like that. But we'll catch you guys next time.